All right, moving on to an idea that was floated by Adam Silver over the weekend in his press conference. Controversy. Now, it has been talked about for quite a while. The idea originally was to have scrap the East and the West and just take the best 16 records. Now, that idea, Adam Silver said, wouldn't happen, which I think is a good idea. But he has did seem quite open to the idea of still having the West and the East, still having the top eight teams. Yep. But then once those top eight teams are set, you then seed them one through 16. And so the playoffs are done rather than a... Western Conference Finals, Eastern Conference Finals, winners advance to the finals. It's done as a all-in together. And the best... The idea behind this is it means that, like this year, for example, I think most people would probably agree now the Cavs' renaissance, if it continues, might change that. But Houston and Golden State are the best two teams in the league. But obviously, they can't meet in the finals. They're probably going to meet in the Western Conference Finals. And even the last few years, yeah. you've had the Spurs. The so Thunder. with this new 1-16 to 16 format, it would mean that those two could play in the finals rather than in a Western Conference Finals. Yeah. And even, a, even just at the bottom end, you look at the 7-8 seeds of the West, yeah. they would crush the 7-8 and eight seeds. It's a very East, controversial right? yeah. topic. Do we like it or not? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Why? Because um, you're getting... It's equality, right? You're getting the best team. But is it really equality? It's not really. Cause... See, this is my argument, right? In my opinion, I think some of the issues travel. Travel's mm. the biggest one. So say, for example, it's if it's stopped now... 2018, though. Yeah, if it's stopped now, but it's still like... Imagine you've got... It would be... You'd have Celtics and Trailblazers, yeah. right? You're going to have to fly all the way across for two games, all the way back for the next two. Let's say it goes to seven. All the way back for five. All the way back for six. All the way back for seven. And that could be your first round. Yeah. And it's not even just that. If you, the seeding... Yeah. Not, you, most of the teams only play the West teams twice a yep. year. You so play how do you, how's it even out if exactly. you don't play the... You play 50... 50 teams from your conference, 32 from the mm. opposite conference. Yeah. So if the East is a lot weaker, then those teams are getting a boost up on the Western yeah. teams who are struggling against Thingo, which doesn't matter if the if you've got your two conferences, but if you put them all together, it does affect it. Ideally, I'd have East and West playing the same amount. Of, you're, well, you're playing 41, every team. 41. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or just every team twice. Okay, Cut so 30 games off. The other thing with this, right, is that... To, for it to go through, 20 of the 30 NBA teams have to agree, have to say, yes, we want this. 30. 20 of the 30. Can you tell me why one Eastern Conference mm. team <laughs> would agree to this? All right. Not Let's happening. say, for example, the 76ers. All right. Young team. They've got budding superstars coming up. They haven't even made the finals since Allen Iverson was stepping over Tyron Lue. They haven't won a final since Julius Irving was dunking rather than judging the dunk contest. All right. Why would they agree they're going to be going up? Let's say hypothetically, LeBron goes to the West. All right, let's just put it as a hypothetical. He goes to the West. Instead of going up against a young Celtics team and a Raptors team who are yet to prove themselves in the playoffs. So, like, that's I'd give that that 76ers team a chance in the next couple of years. They could make it to the finals. Why would they agree to say, oh, yeah, that's fine. We'll also verse the Warriors, whatever team LeBron's on. The Spurs, if Kawhi's back and healthy in Houston, why not? Like yeah, they're not, they're not going to. They're not to. going to agree to that. If any GM in the, in the East agrees to that, they're just stupid, in my opinion. Mm. I don't quite understand why you do that. Well, it'd, be, it'd obviously be a long-term view of the Yeah, but it's a really the long-term league. view. But, they yeah. want to win. Yeah. Like... And other teams uh, like the Pistons as well have a chance to make yeah, the playoffs. Exactly. They haven't been there for a long time. They're not making it for two, yeah. one to sixteen. I can't. I sure. honestly can't see you getting five of the fifteen Eastern Conference teams to agree to that, yeah. and that would be mm. the bare minimum if all fifteen Western Conference teams agreed to it. And for the fans, one yeah. thing you notice within conferences, you've got rivalries. That's the thing in, within divisions. Yeah. So you might miss out on the Celtics versus the Wizards. Yeah. Good rivalry. You might miss out on what the Cavs versus the Pacers, or even if the Celtics Stevenson. and Lakers. Got I don't back know what the, the Celtics finals. and Lakers that being it, a first round. Yeah. That has to be a finals yeah. matchup. I don't, yeah, I, I don't want to see that first round. Mm. Yeah. And the other thing is as well, the seeding isn't always reflective of the best teams. So, for mm. example, last season we wouldn't have got the Cavs and the Warriors in the finals if this was 
which those in two effect, were the best two teams. Yeah, they were season. the two best teams. It wouldn't have been in the finals. Even this year, let's say the Cavs' renaissance continues, right, and they end up being the best team in the East, they're probably not going to catch Toronto. They're too far behind. They might, but let's say they don't, all right? They still, again, might not meet Golden State in the finals, even if they're the best two teams. That's how it is. got to be the best team. Best team in the regular season. It is I, interesting. I think, I think if you do change it, you have to change the whole league. Like we spoke yeah. about yeah, that scheduling before, so you have big. to change so much to get it in place. I think, like, I would love to see it be done that way. So it just gives every team kind of a chance to get to the playoffs and like you're in the top half. Like, if you're in the top, if you're in the top sixteen teams in the league, you should technically be playing playoffs. Like that's just, that's how leagues work all over. Like, you should be you got the best record. You should be playing in the playoffs. But it kind of is like that now. If you've got if the, the best team, you're, you're seeing teams that are in ninth or tenth in the West not playing in the playoffs because there's a team in because yeah. like, they're a team in the East that's seventh or eighth and has a worse record than them. Because like the Pistons or the like you've got there's low level or the that mid tier in the East is a lot weaker than it is in the West. So you've got teams like the Pistons, you've got teams like Seventy Sixers and Heat. Yeah, who it's not much though. Like if you look at the Pistons, they're yeah, twenty eight and twenty nine. They're ninth. The Clippers are thirty and twenty six. They're ninth. So like it's only one or two games. A it's few not... years ago, it was a lot yeah, worse. A few years ago, it was Which a is lot surprising. Worse. Why this conversation is coming up now by Adam Silver? I think it's a bit it's, of a knee jerk reaction to their worried about LeBron going mm-hmm. to the West yeah. and with their television contracts. One company TNT. doesn't want to get stuck with the. Eastern Conference yeah. Finals compared to the Western <laughs> Conference Finals. That's going to not be good for their bidding wars for the bazillion dollars that they're yeah. paying for That's the... That's what it all comes down yeah. to in the end. Money. I think for fans, it would be a good idea. I agree for fans. I just don't see why any Eastern Conference team would agree to it, in my opinion. Yeah. But, but we, we could be saying in five or ten years, we could be saying, well, I can't yeah, see any Western Conference team agreeing mm. to this because the Eastern yeah. Conference has taken yeah. over. So it is true. you don't know what's going to happen in the league. And if they do change it and change the whole dynamic around the league, it could like force teams to just yeah. be better it's against everyone. Like You're not just playing against your It's conference. certainly a long-term perspective, and I can see that. But I just think the reality, I think it's a really good idea on paper. I just don't know how it translates to reality yeah. right now and getting those those teams to actually agree to do it because it's is, not just Adam Silver. I, I, it is interesting though he's floating it. Yeah, oh it's he seemed very, very open. Like yeah. it wasn't mm-hmm. just floaty and he was very open. So he said like it's planting the seeds. So we're yeah. going to continue to look at it. It's still my hope that we're going to figure out ways. Yeah. So he's certainly and he's open to change. I mean he's completely he's, redone the NBA All-Star yeah, game. He's yeah. I, I just think open. the thing is if like if we're looking at the indiscrepancy between like the east and west now like you're never going to get that similarity so it's like you're always going to have to change it and change a whole lot of things like yeah, you're, you're never going to get that it's never going to be le- le- that level even. playing field yeah. so if you do change it, it it's going to favor one conference more so you yeah. like they're going to have to make that decision at some point yeah very true